Tuesday, 7.39, September 12th. Um, I'm getting ready to head to the pilot truck stop. I just got unloaded this morning. And uh, I was Googling around a little bit, checking up, seeing who's who and what's what. And, um, I've always said it, Trump, Donald Trump, he's here as... God's final judgment here on America, you know, where America's, he's bringing the judgment to this place. Most people are all just pure puppets, you know, if you're not following Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit's not dwelling in you, that's why God in the Bible, it calls you double-minded, and he says they're all, they're unstable in all their ways. Most of these people, they don't even recognize that this is a spiritual battle. I just tried sharing with some people in here this morning um, at the uh, Golden Diner. Let me tell you something. It's, uh, it's amazing how so, so many people do not want to know the truth. You know what's really amazing is when the Lord opens your eyes to see what's happening and uh, people, you know, they'll pay to go see a medium, which will tell them the things of the devil, you know, from the demonic spiritual realm, okay? Mediums are all a same part of, like, the Masonic, Masons, um, Donald Trump. You know, he's just another one of them, you know, just another one of them. But, uh, you could sit there, the God could pour, pour his spirit upon you, open your eyes to see what everything's happening around you. You could see what's in other people. You could try to tell other people and they still don't want to believe. They would prefer, um, they would prefer to tell a lie, you know, to listen to lies. It's insanity, you know, when I see all this stuff. You know, it makes me wonder how is it possible that, you know, they see, but yet they just don't want to believe. And then when you show them what's happening, I believe we're right at the door, you guys. When I look at people walking by, it's like zombies everywhere to me, like The Walking Dead. I think that's why they came out with that movie, The Walking Dead. You can surely see how, you know, it's like The Walking Dead here. Here's, here's what, a little bit of Golden Colorado. You see that mountain right there? Then these buildings. You know, these could be nice little quaint little towns, you know, but... The devil's got his, he's rooted in everything here. I told you how I had that dream. Um, like the roots were growing up everywhere. And I, when I jumped down, I looked at the uh, root. And it looked just like the devil. It had horns and everything. The roots that were growing on the wall looked just like the devil. And uh, that's what's happened here. You know, it's it's literally taken root here. The roots have, it's blossomed. You know what I mean? It's it's fully blossomed. People can see, but they don't want to believe. They're willingly ignorant. Just like the Bible said, like I said, there's a lot of it's been fulfilled already. You know, and the little bit that has to be fulfilled, um, we could leave now. That's where we're at. We could literally be taken at this point because... Uh, that's all that lacks is a time of trouble since there never was, since there was a nation. Everything else has been fulfilled in this Bible. You know, from him pouring his spirit out on us, the scoffers coming in the last days. I mean, my scoffing has picked way up just from when I first started. When I first started, man, I, I mean, they're making videos after videos after videos. Uh, anything they can say about me, you know, just saying anything. And hopefully if one person will believe it, then that's one more person they got. 
you know, um, what's got to be fulfilled for us to leave, you guys? What? I don't think anything has to be fulfilled. I mean, we've all been getting tried. We've all been drawing closer to the Lord these past several years. This isn't something that just started. You know, Second Peter here where it says, Knowing this verse, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And, you know, that's what I've seen sitting in there, you know. And I'm not picking on homosexuals in, the, in, in particular. They're just some of the ones that are under the strongest delusion, okay. And most other people are like right there behind them. They just don't have those tendencies. But they might have other tendencies, you know. Um, illicit sex, who knows, you know. Um, who knows? It's wickedness. It's evil. But uh, God's revealed this. Not only has he revealed it, he's handing them over to reprobated minds now. You know, the spirits, you guys, this is a spiritual battle. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but spiritual principalities in high places. And you guys remember a while back, I told you I had a dream where I pulled into a train station and I heard a countdown started. And it started from 16, then 15, 14, 13. And in me, I knew in my spirit I had to be on that train before that countdown was finished. And then, four days later, my wrestling coach from when I was a kid in ninth grade, he passed away. His name was George Steele, the animal. Listen to that name, the animal. How do you think people are today? They're like animals in God's eyes. They're like animals. Illicit sex, women with women, men with men, um, just anybody doing it with anybody, multiple partners, orgies. Um, they're just anybody with anybody, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you know, they've had multiple partners even. It's not how we're supposed to be living. This is filth to God I'm, in his eyes. It is, I, I can't stand it either. Even when I was a child, I, I had a, a sense of it. I didn't like it. You know, it was like when you met somebody, it was like, how many people have they already been with? You know, that's what it felt like. You know, and many people, you know, even throughout high school, they slept with multiple different people already. You know, and this was a while ago, you know. I'm talking 30 years ago, 35, 40 years ago, okay. And now I'm 57, you know what I mean? It's finished. All this stuff is complete. The dreams I've had where I've seen a cattle gate being opened and Animals running out, but the animals were people. They were people rushing out, just rushing out like into the, like cattle. You know, but they're all gonna, they're gonna, these people are gonna be taken to the slaughter now. And I think I'm at the point where it's any moment, you guys. I could share, show people the, the spirits going in and out of me and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, wow, that is, wow, that is so neat. You know, and uh, then I tell them the gift of sight that I've been given, the things that I've been seeing, and it's like as if something comes over them. They don't, it's like they don't want to know no more. You know, they'd rather be ignorant. See, it says right here, the scoffers in the last days, and then it say the, the, the creation has continued always as it has from the beginning. Well, maybe that's how they felt then. But now, we who have been separated, we clearly see, you know, where they don't. And to them, they're continuing like they always thought it did, where we see the big separation. We see it. They don't. Okay? God's powerful, man. He's very powerful. For this they are willingly ignorant of, that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. 
but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved into fire against the day of judgment. You guys, and I've seen that too. I've seen where um, the earth looked like a grid and was everything was melting back into it. Everything was being burnt away into ash and everything else that was being liquefied and melted back into the earth. What came from the earth went back into the earth. And everything else that wouldn't liquefy was turned to ash. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. One day is with the Lord as a thousand years here on this earth, you guys. And a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that should all should come to repentance. That's why in Revelation, that's what it says, repent, repent. You know, all have fallen short. Man, every day I, I'd say, forgive me, Lord, for my, my sins and my iniquities, my shortcomings. <laughs> as, as long as I'm in this wretched body, you know what I mean? Uh, we get these attacks or whatever, but I mean, we, they don't go anywhere with us. You know, we're past that by now. You know, we don't, we resist it. We wake up from it. We repent when we... Uh, rebuke it um, but still I repent all the time because I'm still in this wretched body you know and when we're taken from here we'll be given new bodies at that time but you know how is it that some people don't feel they need to repent you know I don't understand that at all even Donald Trump said that he won't I'm gonna tell you Donald Trump I believe he is that one of the highest masons um, yeah, you know, if you look at his tower, even the way it's built and where it's at, um, then it's in purple and gold. Um, money being the root of it, he's just fulfilling the end times. He's a puppet, you guys. Obama's a puppet. You know, they're uh, they're being controlled by high-powered demonic spirits. You know. There's high ranks in some spirits, too, okay? Satan has uh, high-ranking demonic spirits. He tries to mimic God. You got to remember now, because God, we have Archangel Michael. You know, God's got angels that uh, are higher than other angels. So Satan's going to try to mimic everything that God does. You know, but anyhow, uh, Satan's time's coming to an end, you know. And Satan, he's doing exactly what God created him for, too. You know, to fulfill the word of God. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. See, that's what I've seen. I've seen everything melting. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you be in all holy conversations and godliness? God-fearing. That's what we should be. God-fearing. Look for it in the hasting into the coming of the day of God wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fever and heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, belong the scene that ye look for such things. Be diligent that you may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. Guys, as long as we're in this flesh, there's only one way. 
And that's by the blood of Christ that we're going to be bound without spot or blemish. And that's by the blood of Christ. You need to remember that, man. That's why I say, you know, it's, we need to be following Jesus Christ. It's the only way. Anybody not following Jesus Christ, they're not worthy of him. It's that simple. You know, everything's written in the Bible. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom, wisdom given unto him has written unto you, as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things, in which are some, some things hard to be understood, which that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, <coughs> unto their own destruction. Ye for beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness. In other words, let's remain steadfast here, you guys. Don't follow behind um, what's going, any of this stuff, you guys. Remember, we were called out. We were chosen, separated. We don't want to go back into this. You don't want to follow what's in this. Actually, I've been telling people to let go. Jesus says, come out of her, come out of her. A lot of these people have lost their homes in these hurricanes or whatever. Um, you know what? Hopefully they find Christ in these times, you know, as they lose the things of this world. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. You know, it's very, very clear, you guys, where he told us, you know, those that love the world are an enemy of God. Okay, I'm about to go down to the uh, truck stop. See, I, I shared this photo with the angel blowing the trumpet. Most people today that I share this with, they can't even see it. They totally can't see it. You know, for me, I can easily see it. The bathtub, I mean, it's not hard for me to see it all. Yeah, it's very easy to see. Actually, I even see another face in that mirror. I can see what looks to be like the face of the Lord. It's round. I can see the nose, the eyes. Awesome, awesome, you guys. It's right here. You see where it looks round here? The eyes, the nose. Awesome. I just noticed that. There's a lot of things in this picture, you guys. A whole lot. It's like this picture is alive, you know? It's like the picture is alive. Anyhow, you guys, God bless you. I'm heading over to the truck stop. And, uh, hopefully I got enough credits to go in there and take me a shower. That's what I'm doing. I got my stuff unloaded, and now I'm going to sit around here for today. See if I get anything. Hopefully I will. Going who knows where. But I know the time's short at hand, you guys. We don't have long. Most people not paying attention of the times that we're in. Sadly. Anyhow. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, remember, you guys, the time's real close at hand. And I'll be ready, okay? I, I feel a big change here, real big.